I hear that alarm go off, my adrenaline's going, my heart's racing. My game face goes on, I get my gear on, and I just, I do it, and I let, and I just go for it. It's imperative that when the alarm hits, there's no second guess. You're ready to roll. Our goal is to be out of the station within 80 seconds. Dollar one, engine one, engine two, engine three, dollar one, respond, eight hundred West Bummer Road, eight zero zero West Bummer Road on the structure park. It takes a strong will to come in and know that you meet people on the worst days of their lives. stay-at-home mom. I wanted to be a firefighter before I ever had my second child and it was kind of put on the back burner once I realized I was pregnant with my second child. So after um, staying home with my daughter for I think it was two years or just over two years, I was ready to get back into working. I'm, I'm a physical person so I wanted to get out there and doing something and that was my first, the first, my first thought was like I'm going to try to become a firefighter like, I, like I've always dreamed to do. I was the only woman in the fire academy. It was a lot of weight on my shoulders, and so it instantly I remember just kind of feeling like I had to buckle down and dig deep and get through it. I was there the day she tested, and seeing the drive, the heart, and the spirit that she gave on that day. I knew then that she was going to be a true blessing for this department. Realistically, going into it, I did not know what to expect at all. It was, that's when reality hit and I realized, wow, this is a lot harder than I had expected. But I just, there was that part of me that just would not let me give up and I just kept pushing and pushing. And the more I did it, the easier it became. A wonderful person to be around. She brings a lot to the table. Her desire to learn. Standing by the charge hydrant. She knows that she has some setbacks she's not from. She didn't grow up in the fire community. She's not lineage. And so coming in as a new, bright individual looking for a career change in her life has just been a wonderful spirit to be around. My husband served 20 years in the uh, Marine Corps. And immediately after retiring, he went uh, to become a state trooper with the Highway Patrol. And he did that for about, I think he did that for a year before I decided to become a firefighter. So now we're both uh, in that field and we're, we kind of just juggle our schedules and make it work because uh, one thing's for sure, I, to make it work I have to support him and he has to support me so that's what we do and we get it done. The guys love her, we have a lot of fun. Um, we say the guys, she's one of us. She has just comes right into the fold with no, no hang-ups whatsoever. They have welcomed me with open arms, never made me feel like I was less than them or weaker than them or just different. Like I'm, they literally treat me like I'm a, a sister or a brother. They don't make exceptions for me. <laughs> they give me the common respect that, you know, a man would give a woman, but as far as making exceptions, they absolutely expect for me to carry my weight and they hold me accountable too. These people, the community, our customers depend on us to be there when they need help. And it is a heavy burden to carry, but it's one we are all prepared to do. I would definitely encourage women to become firefighters. It's, it's really an amazing feeling. It's a, it gives me a sense of um, fulfillment. Um, and it's empowering, you know, to be able to do some of, these, some of these tasks and physical demanding things that Predomin you know, predominantly males are doing in, in this field. This is my career. I've made this my career and I would like to go as far with it as I can. And so uh, for me, I, I feel very fulfilled and it is one of the most fulfilling things I have, I have done.